on at first with nobody out. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. Mike Yastrzemski leaves the yard. A four spot on the board. It's 6-0. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at an in-depth look at my favorite baseball game as of right now, MLB The Show 22. Surprised and extremely happy that the show now is on the Xbox consoles. They are now also on Game Pass. Coming out was its first iteration last year with 21. I was amazed and ecstatic and kept on playing with the main exhibition games playing the real players and games against the AI and friends online. Fun as it is, I decided to take the plunge this year into the franchise mode and my own character and avatar. I haven't made such a serious player since I created my own player avatar in Sega's World Series Baseball 98 on the Sega Saturn. New to this game is co-op play with friends. I play with two other players uh, playing on the same team, and boy, was it interesting to play with three others online. The way each player plays and seeing the pros to the beginners on the same team as the game rotates, batting, pitching, and fielding are very apparent, but extremely fun at the same time, as your friends root and try to help you during your slump or in your gaming prowess. Tried to make too much happen right Better there. Second. Not his best at the bat. Starling Marte Throwing. up to him. Marte. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's a laser base hit, and it gets by him. First things first, the game plays exactly like the show 21, and that is not a bad thing. The game is smooth as silk and is the best baseball sim out there. Even if you're not a fan of the pinpoint pitching when using both analog sticks when pitching, the game also gives you the option of classic mode where you're basically aiming where to pit, throw the ball and then pitching. And now it's even up. Back into an at bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. At the play. The game is even more accessible and really leaves it up to the player to decide how they want to play and just enjoy the game. This does leave the game with an easy to start, but lets you know when you're ready, the harder level is there but only when you're ready. The realistic pitching and timing on your batting really makes you feel like a pro and the from the minors. Of course, down. with Shohei Otani gracing the cover of this year's game, his two-way playing in pitching and hitting, I too chose to go that route as a two-way player. I will be honest, now with a new designated hitter rule, I always felt that if you're on the field, you should hit like the National League. So this really got me excited and to see how it's implemented. The realism here is pretty awesome. From the beginning of creating your future baseball avatar and having the choice of your dream team drafting you is a fantastic feeling. Of course, the less glamorous look at baseball is how the player makes the majors and how they get there. And that is through the grooming minors. Creating your character, I was able to create a bland looking player but added Ken Griffey Jr. batting stance with a Vita Blue pitching motion. I was able to also give the player animations from home run animation from that of Tatis Jr. to help push the fun and absurdness that baseball sometimes needs, especially in the video game. Now a blast to left center, way back there, on its way, out of here. 
This place is absolutely loving it. And they slice into the lead. It's 5-3. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Incredibly addictive as you have RPG like mechanics and progression in making your character get better and better. It's amazing how the game puts you in the shoes of your player, whether in the field, pitching, or batting in real baseball situations. Having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Two on, two outs. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher to first, and he beats it. Everyone's one and two here. Tap to first. Chang collects. And he'll be safe at first. Even when I was trying to get the hang of the baseball gameplay, I would love to try to push hits and bases by running with the pitch to find that my teammates were upset that I would push them in different positions and sacrifice the game based on my plays that would eventually have the team and coach decide I shouldn't steal any more bases at all. Of course, it's ultimately up to you how you guide your player and their personality, but I decided to listen to the team and coaches, but had fun on the field when deserved. Of course, this game is a video game that makes me smile and laugh, but in no way think this will ever happen in real life. There are many, many games that help boost your player's progression and shorten the games being played in a perspective of your player really makes things fast, fun, and very addictive. The game surprises as well as the coaches that make decisions for you during the game. Although at one moment I pitched an incredible game, giving up only one hit, but at the 100 pitch plateau, like many modern coaches today, I wasn't allowed to finish the game and take it out in favor for the bullpen. He's able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Next offering is down low. Ball two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. That's the third out. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ray Venter on for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. They know that he can get, whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year. To see. Exciting and addicting as the game is, the biggest con here is the game's visuals. Not saying that the ballparks and players look bad, it just looks very similar to last year's. Although a good looking game, it doesn't push anything that you have not seen in the past iterations. I felt that the gameplay does pick up here and there between high frame rate that dips at times. A performance mode and quality mode, like in most current gen games, would be much appreciated to see smoother gameplay and sharper response times. As for now, the games play nice, but could be a lot smoother. The game is still very addicting and the only game to play when it comes to true baseball simulation on consoles. MLB The Show 22 gets an 8.0 out of 10 for its usual great gameplay and addicting fun that needs to push the visual more and is saved with its very fun franchise mode. That's it for me on this look at The Show 22. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Swing and a miss. Got him. A perfect ending to a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game. Damn.